Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In a very recent video, I was discussing the new Profiles feature that's found in the latest version of Lightroom Classic CC. And in that video, I was comparing Profiles to Presets. And one of the things I was discussing was how each of them treated the actual sliders on the right-hand panel of the Develop module of Lightroom. If, for example, we have this image here and it's totally unprocessed and I'm just going to add a preset to it. So I'll pick, pick this one, black and white high detail. And you'll notice that the sliders are set to something, whatever the preset called for. And the other panels as well, tone curve might be set to something. And depending on the preset, any of the other uh, sliders in any of these tabs may be set to something that the preset calls for. So the preset, as I mentioned in that video, in my opinion, is meant for you to get in and out of Lightroom relatively quickly. You apply the preset, it sets the sliders to something, then you may go in and just tweak it a little to make it more to your liking or better fit your image, and then you're done. So you're in and out quickly. On the other hand, I was discussing the profiles, and I was talking that, or speaking, that those should be done as a base. You put the profile down and then you process off the profile. For example, if I open up the profile browser and I just add this big sky profile, it added this kind of base to the image. Now I could process off that. And what I mentioned was that it's a great advantage because it doesn't set the sliders to anything or any of the panels to anything other than their default positions. So you'd get, and I said, you'd get full range of the sliders. Well, I was wrong. I was kindly pointed out that I was wrong by a YouTube viewer named Ertho. He, he or she posted a comment, very kind, uh, explaining to me why I was wrong. That when the profile was created, whoever created the profile, if in their profile they had, let's say, highlights at plus 30, when the profile is created and then put into another Lightroom, even though the highlight slider is at 30 or is at zero on my screen, it's really biased to plus 30. And all I will get out of it is another 70, if that makes any sense. And to better demonstrate this situation, I created a profile that is called uh, Shadows Down, Contrast Up. And what I did was, is I put shadows all the way down to minus 100 and contrast all the way up to plus 100. So I'm going to pick on that. And you can see it totally destroyed the image. But we'll go back to our basic tab. And you can see all the sliders are in the middle. And I mentioned that the profile put contrast at plus 100. Now if I go and I move that contrast slider to the right, you could see absolutely nothing is happening to the image. Similarly, I moved in this profile shadows all the way down to minus 100. So if I move that to the left, nothing is happening to the image. So the profile actually biased those sliders and you get no more movement out of them. Now, you may be saying, but Tony, you have that fader thingy in the in the profile. So if I go back to the profile browser, we have this amount slider. And if I move that up, you could conceivably think that it would increase uh, contrast and then f send amount further towards negative, but it doesn't. As you can see, as I move it to the right, it doesn't do anything either. Now it will take it away if I move it to the left, but if I go higher than 100, it doesn't do anything. So, Ertho, thank you very much for pointing out how wrong I was, and that's why I wanted to make this video to correct that. So, even though the sliders are at zero, your profile may have biased it so that it actually will only give you limited range. In this case, I is again, I showed an extreme version where I had contrast at plus 100 and shadows at minus 100 to demonstrate it. In most cases, someone who creates a profile isn't going to have the sliders at extreme. So you will get some movement or some change with the sliders as you move them with most profiles. 
With that said, I did mention that I'm creating my own set of profiles that I'll be selling very soon. Well, they're delayed because I, I truly want my profiles to be the best profiles on the market. And there are ways to create profiles where you're not biasing the sliders. It's just a little more difficult to do and a little more uh, time intensive. So because I want my, my um, profiles to be the best, they're delayed because I'm redoing them all. So the sliders are not biased and you will get full range from every slider and every control in Lightroom. So bear with me. I know I've received a few comments and emails here and there from people asking me when they'd be ready. So they're going to just be a little longer. Um, I apologize for that. But I wanted to make this video to correct what I said in that previous video, which was so very wrong. That's it for this video. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.